Don't hit the camera. Oh. <laughs> it's on. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Alright, back up real quick. Let me see what's going on here. Oh, that trap! Yep. Alright, guys. So, let me see if you can see that there. Uh, yeah. So, I am going to make... I just had an idea. We Whoa! We don't know if it's going to work. But we're going to try it. Um, I'm going to try to make a uh, homemade uh, rig for helping set this trap. And we're going to, we'll see if it works. I have not watched any videos on how to make a homemade one of these. I just have, Dini, scoot to the side or you're going to knock over the camera. I just had an idea. And we're going to see if it works. And I'm gonna use, you probably use a sturdy stick, but I'm gonna use a carabiner and a piece of 550 cord. So I have a piece of 550 cord here and just a carabiner that's not for climbing, uh, just so I can, I think I can get my fingers through like this, get a good grip on this thing. Hold this, buddy. And let's see if you can see where this is going. All right, we got. Uh, I'm gonna take my gloves off so I can. <laughs> You've already waved. They see you. They see you. Uh, I'm going to just make. Um, actually, I'll do a figure eight just in case it's gonna slip. Like a. Do you know how to? Here. So instead of just a single loop like this, I'm going to go around one time and then come back up through. And it's just a, see how I made the figure eight, only it has a loop on the end. All right, buddy, let me see this. And then I'm going to put this through here like that. So that's going to be the part that I pull on. You pull on it? Yep. Well, cinch this down a little bit, and that should not slip out. All right, step one, any kind of knot that's not going to slip in the end, put the carabiner through. Again, I don't know if this is going to work, so, and then um, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, I guess. Actually, let's, let's see if we really need that uh, full figure eight, or if I can do it with just a simple loop because what I'm planning on doing on this side is making this simple loop here like this then you want to twist it around <laughs> twist it. well I needed enough to get this through here and I don't know if I oh shh shh I'm gonna give it a little bit more. What'd you hear? Okay. There. That's just a single one. What'd you hear? All right. Now I'm gonna put my gloves back on. Buddy, I need you to back up because the trap is, I'm gonna be trying to set this trap. Now you gotta get further than that. All right. So I'm gonna put my foot on one side of it. I'll put my foot on this side. Make sure you can still see everything that's going on. All right. I wonder if it's better to have that down or up. Let's try this way. So my plan, if you haven't figured it out yet, is to put this through here. Like so. Actually, I'll pull this around so I can get more through there. So now I've just made a slip knot on this side, right? Like a sliding there. Okay. Dini, you're getting too close. I need you back out of the trap. 
And I'm gonna slide this down through here. Put this back through here. And so the plan is to, you see, grab this. I actually have too much slack in the rope. So the plan is to pull up on this, okay, and pull those two together. That's the, that's the plan. So let's see what happens when I start pulling on it. So my carabiner that is not for climbing has broken, <laughs> but it looks like the plan does work, except it slid over that. <sighs> okay. So it almost worked, but my carabiner broke and then I lost control of it. So. Um, let's see if we can get that back around there. Um, I think I can make this work. I just, it didn't work that time. <laughs> what do you think, Dean? It looks awesome. Does it look awesome? All right. So I'm going to try this one more time. We need less slack in here, but you see the, you get the gist of it. My poor, there we go. So I need a shorter piece of 550 cord and I, I think I can make this work. See? The 550 cord is just too long right now. I need to see it's there we go. It's definitely working. The the 550 cord is just not long enough right now. See? So, I have to shorten my 550 cord and that just worked. I mean, it looked like it was really difficult because it kind of was. But, so I'm gonna do it one more time just for the record. <laughs> Not that that was off the record, but that was the first try. I didn't try it off camera or anything. And it looks like what needs to happen is 550 cord just needs to be shorter. So I'm gonna undo this. We're gonna do it one more time. Bloopers and all, I'm not cutting this or anything because that was much easier than setting it by hand yesterday. And, um, we're just gonna keep doing this through trial and error. So I'm actually probably need a stronger carabiner, but that's fine. This still worked. I want to get this just enough. So it also looks like we didn't really need the figure eight. So go through here, go through here. Back through here. Okay. And then I'm going to make a different loop. <sighs> Closer. I'm just going to put it right here. You guys see this?
My original was just a little bit too long. What are you doing, buddy? Uh, I'm digging a hole. Oh, cool. In the mud. Cool. We like the mud. All right, so I took some slack out of there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's cool. Remember that snail we found earlier? Yeah. Okay. So round two, put that guy back through there, that guy clamped on, okay, now, here we go, fingers all the way through this guy, we're stepping right here, get it over that, I hope I can oh, find no, the again. worm. I hope I find the worm. Oh yeah? Yeah. So, I have heard this trap does this. I actually saw some videos where they were, this is one of the complaints about this particular one. I wish I had a shovel. So, it looks like I need to find a way to keep that from happening. I found the spider! Oh no! Okay. Look. Yep. Don't mess with him. All right. Bring these back together. Got a few kinks to work out, but I think we're on the right track. Um, I will check in with you guys later and see where we are. Ah, uh, oh, I can't see. All right. So we did get it done and um, without, I mean, you saw the difficulties I was having. Uh, it it goes, it, it's able to go around the corner like this. So in order to make this work, you have to hold it very specifically to keep it from going around the corner. Um, the other thing is the 550 cord will come through where the, where the uh, steel is bent back around on itself. So you need to make sure that the 550 cord is not pulling through that gap right there. It's got to be on this side and on this side. Um, I had to hold it with my hand to stabilize and get that uh, safety ready to flip. So it was a little um, more than just trying to do it with this. It was doing all of the heavy work with this simple tool that we just fashioned right out here and uh it worked it was a lot easier than when i was trying to do it just by hand the other day so i used this for the heavy lifting but i still ended up getting my hand on it here as i was pulling so i had a foot here i was pulling the hand also kept it from going around the side pulled it together and then got that safety on and Really, that was much, much easier than um, than when I was doing them yesterday. So now that I got it set, I'm actually going to go put it out and we'll call it a day. All right, Deanie, come tell everybody bye. Told you to stop running in the mud over there. Come here. Bye. <laughs> Can you say, we'll see you on the ridge? <laughs> I'm only gonna say that. Okay.